Uh, joining us now, the other senator from Florida, Democratic Senator Bill Nelson. Uh, senator, I've, I've heard you react today, but you listen to those students. Um, and your thoughts as you're getting the number of fatalities uh, from authorities down there. When I was on your colleague's show, Shepard Smith, uh, earlier this afternoon, uh, I knew it was many fatalities, and I didn't want to jump the gun uh, and said a number of fatalities. Uh, and as you start to confirm the number, it uh, comes in our worst fears are realized. And of course, you grieve. Uh, you just think how those parents are grieving, how those school officials, and there may be a, a school teacher among those fatalities. Uh, you can imagine uh, what they're going through. And uh, my thoughts, and I've already prayed for comfort for all of our people down in Broward County. Now, listening to the school superintendent, Senator, uh, this was a, a, a joyous day. They were celebrating the teacher of the year in Broward County. She got a new car, and then he was um, driving and got word of this, of this shooting. Uh, I understand it's the biggest shooting in, in Broward County's history, and, um, and now with this fatality, will likely be one of the biggest in the nation. Uh, remember, it was just a year ago that we had the shooting in the Fort Lauderdale Airport, the very same county. Uh, remember, it was just a few months ago, the mass shooting uh, in uh, Las Vegas. And you can go all the way back to Sandy Hook and then beyond that back to Columbine. Uh, Brett, what does it take for us to come to our senses as a civilized and loving people uh, to stop this mass murder? Yeah, I, mean, I guess that's the question, you know, in the politics of this and fighting about how to get to a solution. On this day, it is, it's tough to see how you can stop it as it is now. Is it the access to the guns? Is it the mental health aspect of things? We don't know the answers to what motivated this kid. Uh, do you have anything from authorities about this suspect and what, what was behind any of this? No, and of course the investigation will bring all of that out. But you've asked uh, the right questions. Uh, was it legal to purchase it? Was it a high capacity uh, caliber uh, weapon? Uh, was he treated in some way for a mental health condition? Uh, all of the above are things that ought to be examined and ought to be try to be dealt with in the future. In this current environment, is that going to happen? Well, when you consider, as I shared with Shepard Smith earlier, uh, when you consider that uh, Diane Feinstein had a bill that we voted on that was just simply to take the terrorist watch list of terrorists and put a prohibition that they could not buy a gun. Uh, and that was defeated. So I don't know the answer to your question, Brett. Mm -hmm. Final thought, we're waiting on authorities here. Obviously, they have their hands full uh, down there trying to piece uh, all of this together. Uh, but this is a massive undertaking for uh, the Broward County Sheriff's Department. Uh, if those numbers uh, end up uh, like is being speculated on the number of fatalities, uh, then uh, indeed this is one of the worst crimes and tragedies that Florida has ever seen. One death is too many. Uh, this may be multiple. Yeah. Well, Senator, we appreciate your time, especially on a, a day like this that's very tough to talk about. Uh, our prayers are with the families. Thank you. Thank you, Brett.